All right, Starbucks, we've all heard this, right? They've received major backlash this week after it banned baristas from wearing Black Lives Matter apparel, despite one of the reasons being employee safety. Well, now the coffee chain is reversing the policy and it has you talking. Starbucks says employees will now be allowed to wear Black Lives Matter apparel as part of its dress code. And now they're even making t-shirts for them to wear. But not everyone thinks this was the right move. So DBL Nation, what do you think? Is it okay to make political statements at work and know that they were allowed to wear pride pins, LGBT pride pins, so okay. it seemed absurd that they couldn't wear Black Lives Matter. Um, I'm going to read your comments and then get Jeff and Alex. Just to be clear, I don't want to cut you off, but so it's not t-shirts, it's just pins or paraphernalia. They, they weren't allowed like to wear that. anything at all, oh, okay, and now gotcha. they are allowed to. Gotcha, so I just want to be clear. Exactly. All right, Al, the first comment is for you. Andy from Facebook says, it's clear that Starbucks wants to be on the right side of history. The best way to do that is by letting employees be a part of change. Al? Uh, I agree, and especially you guys remember, we covered the story on DBL about a year and a half ago, uh, maybe even two years ago, uh, with the two young black men that uh, were arrested at Starbucks yes. for attempting to use the bathroom. So I would think they would be even more, uh, like, diligent about making sure they got this issue right. And, you know, I'm glad they made this, this move, but it seems like it was done after they, were, they got pressure from uh, they're public. So I don't yeah. know. I mean, it's, it's good that they did it, but I think they missed it twice. Yeah, good point. Jeff, here's the next comment. Darlene from Facebook says, Starbucks knows how to spin bad press into good PR. That's basically what Al was saying. They did this twice now. Yeah, but is that a good thing? That means they messed right. up in the right. first place. I totally agree with learning from your mistakes, but Starbucks, I feel like, I can't believe they missed the mark on this one. You know, would they say something if Tori was wearing a Jewish pin or a Christmas pin? And I was like, you're Jewish. Take this coffee back. Yeah, you know, it's like right. you're supporting what you believe in. If you're not interfering with the uniform, that's why I want to make sure if you wanted to put a T-shirt over a uniform, I don't agree with that. But if you wanted to wear a pin, pin in solidarity, I don't see a problem with this. I'm surprised Starbucks did. I am too because Starbucks, as you know, tries to be the like the woke. You know that's what, what I mean? I'm like saying. Like Howard Schultz tried to make it like very we're so into racial bias, on racial bias and stuff. So I thought this was a big, big mistake. Now they did it for purposes of safety in case people reacted badly, but it was a huge step in a whole. I think Ray from Facebook says I was about to boycott Starbucks until this morning. Now I can go and get my coffee. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's not great to have consistent mistakes and you keep doubling down and then you keep making it because of bad press. You would rather have a consistent lane of I've been on the right side of history. Ray, man, Dunkin Donuts is where it's at, buddy. I don't like Dunkin Jeff, Donuts. Jeff, you took it out of, you took it out of my mouth, Jeff. I completely Our agree. Dunkin time. Donuts, come on. Oh, it's, it's the best. It's too sweet, no? It's half the price. You want to go get a 59 cent cup of coffee or can I get a coffee with a sprinkle of Starbucks magic? 29.90. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not how it is.